Welcome to today's edition of The Good, The Bad and The Ugly, especially curated from the world of economy and business today. Let's start with the good. The Sensex has hit yet another high. That's good. But what does it mean and why is Sensex rising? For one, it means positive outlook towards the Indian economy. The Sensex is rising for multiple reasons. One of the primary reasons is that the Sensex heavyweight Reliance Industries itself is going through a spike in share price. It crossed a 100 billion dollar mark yesterday and today the stock itself has crossed 1100 rupees per share. One of the biggest reasons though for the Sensex rise is that in the last few days the crude oil price has fallen from almost near 80 dollars a barrel to now 73 and a half dollars a barrel. That has triggered a rise in the prices of oil refining companies as well as aviation stocks. The third big reason is that bank stocks are rising because of the ongoing clean up of the npms in the economy and the fourth major reason is that the tcs results of almost 23% rise in their net profit has triggered greater optimism about q1 results from corporate india but despite all this india needs to watch out for the crude price rise and the inflation that it will trigger and also the fact that interest rates will go up once inflation rises and now the bad the recognition of six institutes of eminence by the empowered panel is worse than it appeared earlier the committee that recognized these six institutes of eminence has said that it did no field visits and did no rankings before it arrived at the list of three public sector and three private sector institutes of eminence panel's chairman however has defended this move saying that it was impossible to do field visits for 113 such institutes that had been shortlisted such arbitrariness on the part of this panel is bad this obviously does not bode well for the government that preaches processes as well as governance to the world now the ugly the us has threatened another 10% tariff on yet another 200 billion dollar worth of imports from china and that came just before the new trade data between china us shows the biggest trade surplus for china in its history 29 billion dollars in the month of june such a jump in chinese exports to us came as chinese exporters front loaded the shipments to the us to escape the july 6 deadline for tariff imposition by the us on chinese imports this essentially means that the us china trade dispute will continue to be on the boil in the months to come and it will engulf global trade it will slow down international trade it will disrupt supply chains and it will impact all economies of the world including india's